Well, here we are at the Smith Farm. Just wanted to uh, show you what we're doing here. This is on the corner of uh, Mitchellsburg Road and this little lane here. And uh, just wanted to show you where we're at. We've got a beautiful maple tree here on the corner. And and there's a little barn across the way. And then behind that barn is the river. That's the Chaplin River. It goes all the way down to Perryville. <clears throat> now, when I get up here on the porch, I'll tell you how far you are to town, but you're not more than about a, a mile, maybe a mile, point one, maybe point nine, something like that. Just wanted to show you. Okay, here we are up on the porch, and I just wanted to show you what you're looking at here. It's really bright and airy and beautiful. Uh, this is this is your fence here to delineate the front yard, and then that second fence, that blackboard fence, it delineates the property line. Then the next is the road, and that's the road that goes right out to town. It's <laughs> I don't think it's a mile. Well, it's, it's about a mile. It's not, not a whole lot more and it's probably a little less. And then across here is someone else's and then the Chaplin River is down there which is really nice. It's just on the other side of this barn. So that's the Chaplin River. Anyway, so here are your neighbors. There's a neighbor way across the way. Close enough, yet not too close. And then there's a neighbor up here. Everybody keeps their place nice and tidy. Um, it's really nice. You see the, I don't know if you can see the, the water tower out there, um, there's the water tower right there. And the water tower is right by the school. There's a Dollar General here in town. Uh, that's just, um, you know, not, not two miles away. And they're open uh, seven days a week till uh, nine o'clock at night. That's real handy. Get, go out here a mile, make a right on the highway, and you're eight and a half miles to the Regional Medical Center, uh, Center College in Danville. It's got everything. So what do you, 10? 10 maybe 12 minutes to town <clears throat> I'll walk you uh, down and down and around here after a while there's a little creek and there's you can see the bridge there and the property keeps going around Boy, you saw that earlier there oh, there's the barn okay well let's come on in it's all no maintenance and what I really like and what I really like about this house is the hardwood floors and it's wide board. This isn't that little two inch stuff. This is the three and a half or three and a quarter or whatever that is. You've got this double tray ceiling here. It's got a um, gas log fireplace here that goes into the kitchen. Here's the dining room, even kitchen area, which is really nice. Lots of cabinets. A little bar here so you can look across perfect for entertaining I'm always thinking about entertaining this is the garage out here two-car garage and then here's a little uh, full bath actually sink toilet and shower and I don't have the lights on here laundry here's that little laundry room this is a, a guest room or sewing room. If, uh, if you grew up in the era that I did, your grandma had one of these and we called it the spare room. That was the spare room. Running a little low on battery, so I'm gonna keep going here a little fast. Patio doors go out into the deck, which is real nice. Let's see what we got down here. This is uh, another full bath. Toilet, tub, sink. This is uh, the little Grand Bunny's room. Nice size bedroom, really. Linen closet there. Here's another Grand Bunny room. That one's the girls, this one's the boys. Another linen here. And then the master suite, which is really nice. Again, double tray ceiling, fireplace, and I'm correct. Yep. Another bath. Another full bath. So you got three full baths. One, two, three bedrooms. It's a beautiful home. All maintenance free. Anyway, that's it for the house. 
just walked up here there's the house and then there's the Mitchellsburg Road and this is this little lane here on the side just walked up here to this garage which is really nice I'll get the photograph in there um, you know it's a block garage and they put vinyl on it to modernize it and it looks it looks great and it's built like a tank with being block and all there's the barn down there we're gonna go down there and look at that next but just kind of wanted to show you this little lane here um, there's just uh, one or two little houses and then there's a little farm back here so not much activity on this little lane it truly is just a lane I want to show you this uh, the property line comes along here and it doesn't stop at that that board fence what it actually does is goes to the wire fence there so some of these cattle here are on it and goes up to that point and then back to the back there where that horse was okay just kind of wanted to show you that it's real pretty real pretty and then all these paddocks are fenced off there's uh, actually four tracks of land here right Ron? Right. four tracks of land and this creek does this creek stay running all the time not all the time if it's real real dry it will just it, get into puddles it, oh okay so it'll just pool up and puddle if it's uh if it's real real dry but most of the time it runs so you don't water the horses very often in no, other words you don't have to water them at all unless it's a real real dry real side. real dry okay and how many paddocks do we have here we've got the one around the one, in the house two, three, four paddocks one two plus a yard. four paddocks plus a yard fantastic all righty okay and of course there's that Mitchell's bird road down there and then this is just the the um, the little lane here on the side there's back of the house there's a nice little shed there I'm gonna guess it's about 8 by 12 or something like that um, is that about right Ronnie 8 yeah, by 12 10 it's 10 by 14 12 by 12. 12 by 12 something like that handy to have good mower shed keep the mower out of the garage so you got room for the cars if you're like me you don't have room for your cars in your garage and that's just the panorama of the four different tracks here Anyway, it's a great place. Check us out at bluegrassteam.com. Bluegrassteam.com. Give us a call 859-494-5521. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you this. It is absolutely a show place. Four plank blackboard fence around the whole place. Uh, it, it's just beautiful. Beautiful horse barn. We're going to run down there. I'm going to show you the, the horse barn. This is uh, divided into four tracks. It is a three bedroom, three full bath house. Uh, we're going to see all that stuff later on. There's, there's two fireplaces. It's just really pretty. The best thing about this two-car garage, big concrete driveway goes all the way around. I'll get a picture of that for you too. Best thing about this property, it needs nothing. You just walk right in, truly. Okay, we just came in off the road up the avenue here and uh, you know where you are. Here's the house, and then here's the creek. And and he's got this backed up just a little bit here uh, for a like a pond to back water up. And again, these cattle here are on this farm. And that that hump there, that big green hump, is on on this farm as well. Let's go on inside. Show you what we got going on. Now you can see it really good. You see Mitchellburg Road down there really good. And, uh, and Little Lane. I just wanted to point out this beautiful concrete driveway. God, if I put in a driveway that big, the neighbors think I'd won the lottery. You know, this is expensive. I mean, concrete has gone up tremendously, uh, especially recently. But uh, there's a lot of concrete here. Wraps all the way around to the front there. It's got a turnaround, it's got another turnaround, and then steps up to the house. Just wonderful. Anyway. 
wanted to point that out because I guess I'm kind of envious. I'd like to have concrete driveway, so I wouldn't point that out to you. It might be a big, a big important thing for you as well. And he's got his dogs. He raises uh, championship coon dogs. This is just a tack room. Concrete floor. Boy, what I could do with this, this, uh, there's his world championship dog there. What I could do with this tack room. I'd love to just have the tack room in my place. And then here's the inside of this barn, which is really nice. Um, if you're wondering about the slats, they, they build these uh, in, in a tobacco barn style. So the boards are together when they put them up green, and then as they dry, they separate. So it looks like there's really nothing on there through the camera, but if you look here, there's not even, you know, there's not, you can't fit your finger through it. It doesn't, it doesn't look like much in the camera. It looks like there's no wood on there, but, but I assure you that's all solid oak. And, uh, <coughs> And, and that's just the way it is. It's good ventilation, it's good for the horses, keeps out the weather, and um, then you've got equipment here. You've got a stall or area there for hay. Some more equipment here. Uh, 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 an area for the horses, there's another area. You've got these big tall doors, that's, that's at least uh, 12 feet at least. And another stall here. How you doing there? And another stall there. And then out the back are those crazy dogs barking at me. They think I've got a cat with me or something, I guess. And this is all on the side here. Okay.